Hi everyone, this is Rajesh from Charlie Motors. Today we are going to know about how a common rail fuel engine system works. This is the CRDA technology in every engine in present day cars. Every car has this, every company car has this technology in the engine. That uh, Tata, Mahindra, Volkswagen, Skoda, Audi, Benz, Tata, Mahindra and Toyota. Every car has this uh, CRDA technology in the engine. Today I am going to explain you how this uh, common rail fuel injection system works in the present day cars. Uh, this is the overall view of the common rail fuel injection system. Uh, the main components of the system are, uh, it's a fuel tank, where there is a low pressure fuel pump, filter, high pressure pump, common rail, injectors, electronic control module and all the sensors which are useful to activate the injectors and where the injectors spray injected diesel into the internal combustion chamber, chamber the engine starts okay now uh, how this system works there is a fuel tank where there is a fuel is stored in that fuel tank there is a uh, low pressure fuel pump in the fuel tank it pumps a 3 to 5 bar pressure fuel pressure to the fuel filter the fuel filter filters the fuel and that sends to the high pressure pump and this fuel filter has a two sensors at the bottom. It's a water and fuel sensor which detects the water in the fuel filter. And there is a temperature sensor which detects the temperature of the fuel in the fuel system. Where the low pressure fuel is goes to the high pressure pump, the high pressure pump say high pressure fuel to the common rail. When the high pressure is pumping the high pressure fuel, uh, there is a fuel pressure regulator valve which controls the fuel pressure in the high pressure pump. After controlling the high pressure, the fuel pressure regulator uh, releases the extra fuel to the fuel return line to the fuel tank. And then the high pressure fuel goes to the common rail. The common rail has a pressure of 1000 to 1500 bar pressure in the Bosch company common rail system. And in the Delphi company it is about the 1050 to 1600 bar pressure. This high pressure fuel goes to the common rail and this common rail has a two sensors. It's a fuel pressure sensor which detects the pressure in the common rail and the pressure limiter valve the which controls the pressure in the common rail. After controlling the limiter pressure, the return fuel is go again back to the fuel tank. And here there are the four injectors are also stored with the same pressure of uh, uh, 1500 bar to 1600 bar pressure. Every injector has a stored of 1600 bar pressure. Then these four injectors were activated by the electronic control module. This electronic control module takes the input signals and it activates the activators in the engine. So, the what are the input signals in this uh, common rail system? Means there is a crank sensor which detects the crank position, and there is a cam sensor which detects the cam position. Excited pedal sensor shows the detects the excited position. Boost temperature detects the turbo pressure in the inlet manifold. Air temperature which tells the temperature of the air in the inlet manifold. And the coolant temperature which detects the coolant temperature in the engine or the engine temperature. Oil temperature is also detects the oil temperature in the engine oil and the oil pressure. And then the EGR sound light is the exhaust gas circulation sound light. It is also useful for the taking some signals from it. And speed sensor, it's a detects the vehicle speed. By taking all the input signals, the ECM takes these input signals and uh, by taking all the input signals, the ECM sends the signal to the injectors that how much fuel has to be injected, at which time, how much quantity has to be injected is calculated by the ECM and the signal is sent to the all injectors. By sending signal from the ECM, the injectors activate and the diesel, the pressure diesel is pre, uh, injected into the internal combustion chamber. Then after injecting the uh, uh, diesel into the internal combustion chamber, the engine starts. This is how the common rail fuel injection system works. Uh, this is the technology in the present day cars. In every engine is a diesel engine system. It is always in every car, every diesel engine uh, as a lorry or every car, the present day cars are going with this technology in the engines. Briefly, I will explain you again. There is a fuel tank where is the fuel is stored. 
is there's a low pressure fuel pump which forms the fuel to the fuel filter it is about 3 to 5 bar pressure then the filter fuel is goes to the high pressure pump this high pressure pump pumps the high pressure fuel to the common rail and then the fuel pressure regulator which controls the pressure in the high pressure pump and the return fuel is go back to the fuel tank then the common rail has a pressure of the 1000 to 1500 pressure and uh, the common rail has a two sensors a fuel pressure sensor and the fuel limiter valve which detects the fuel pressure which controls the which controls the pressure in the common rail the return fuel is going back to the fuel tank and the every injector is stored with a high pressure it's about 1500 pressure then these four injectors were activated by the electronic control module so engine control module by taking all the input for signals from the crank cam accelerator boost air and engine oil and the just on another speed sensor by taking all the signals the ecm uh, gives the output signal to the injectors the how much fuel has to be injected and how much quantity has to be injected at which time it has to be injected by this the ecm sends the output signal to the injectors and the injector activates and the diesel is injected into the engine and the engine starts this is the right way of the fuel uh, common rate fuel injection system and how it works if you have any doubts you can give a comment in comment i will give you an answer thank you